How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to everyone's favorite commercial fishing simulator, Fishing Barren Sea. Now, I have been doing a little bit off recording now. I really wanted to get to the next boat today, so we're almost there in terms of the certificate. We only have 500,000 kroners right now, and I believe the boat cost almost 2 million. That being said, I did pay off my loan, so I think we can get a pretty decent loan today and fully get that boat. Now, what we're doing right now, I've actually been exploring the main part of the sea, as you can see. Uh, I started right here at the start of this, and I have opened up a pretty good fishing ground here. I think we found the mother load of all fishing grounds. I'll obviously have to expand this out to look for more yields. But I wanted to go up to this topmost port here because obviously I want to connect all these ports together. And it looks like we only have two more ports to connect. This one way in this uh, valley here too. I'd actually like to check out this valley because there might be a lot of fish in there. Also, because we're so close to the ship, we'll probably try and check out what the heck this thing is today. It says open water, so I'm assuming it's like a port to the open water or I don't know. I, I really have no idea, so I'm kind of curious about that. But the big goal today is to get the next boat. So... Hopefully we can get a decent loan, or at least get lots and lots of fish, and do exactly that. Oh, look at that! We finally got it! We got the senior certificate for a medium fishing vessel. So now we gotta go to 250 kilometers to get to the next one. So, uh, yeah, obviously we're gonna be buying this boat when we get enough money to do so, because this boat's great, don't get me wrong, but again, we're still having storage issues. We can get lots and lots of, lots of fish out of this ocean with the nets, but uh, unfortunately we don't have the stor storage on this boat to use it. Alright, and here we are at Tuffjord. So yes, yeah, so it looks like another very small dock here. Can we uh, buy boats? That's the big question. As long as we can refuel, I'm happy, so... Looks like they do have a dockyard, but that doesn't mean you can buy boats. Yeah, it does not have boats for sale, does not offer upgrades either, but we can repair and refuel. That's the important part, and uh, yeah, we've made it to another port, guys. All right, so we're gonna have to go back to probably Hammer Fist or Fest. <laughs> I, I just want to keep calling it Fist because that's a much better name. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go back there to get a loan and see if we can get enough money to get the next boat. I'm gonna go grab this net real quick that I dropped here, uh, assuming it lets it soak for long enough. By the time we get there, it should be pretty good. But look at that. That was our biggest voyage yet going all the way across the uh, channel here. So yeah, we've, we've focused on this area, but there's just so much more ocean in this game. Okay, so unfortunately that was only for 15 hours, so I think I might... Do you think we'll be able to get back in time? No, probably not. That's pretty far away. So we're just gonna waste time here. One thing I would like in this game is to just drop anchor and wait. I don't know why you can't do that. But unfortunately, we do need to fast travel to waste some time here. There it goes to green. Might even make it past blue because we're taking so long, but this is just a 75 meter net. I don't think there's going to be too much in it. But when you can drop off a net, you definitely want to. And look at how close the buoys are. I'm so used to them being so much further apart. All right, well, let's do some net hauling here. She's been resting for a long time, so she should be ready to go. And yeah, hopefully we can fill this boat with this little net. I don't think we've tried the 75 meter net yet, so uh, we've always tried for the big ones. And obviously those are a little bit too big. So let's see how much is on this line here. 12? Wow, that's way more than I expected. And there we go. That actually... Is that going to be a full haul? I don't think that's going to be a full haul. It's going to be very, very close though. So, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, look at that. So the 75 meter net is perfect for this damn boat. So we're going to get her to hand gut as we go back. Uh, I do know how to gut now, by the way. I totally forgot there was a button there, so we will gut the rest of them so we earn as much money as possible. So let's go back to Hammerfest. All right, back at her. Home sweet home. Ooh, a loading screen. That must mean we went really far away. Usually there's not loading screens. It looks like she did gut the vast majority of the fish, so we'll let her rest and... Let's do this before we dock, I guess. Cut the fish. There we go. It's been a while since we've done this, guys. Don't hit the wall. We hit the wall. Thankfully, we only need to gut a little bit. Looks like they uh, actually kind of updated this a bit. It's even more confusing for me now because before people said they were bubbles that meant the waves. Now they just look like metal blades. So I don't know what they're really trying to showcase with this, but hey, I understand how to do it now. And that is all that matters. Oh, if we could do a little bit better than this, that would be great. There we go. Perfect. Well, not technically perfect. Four and a half stars, give or take, so that's not too bad. Let's see if we can do a fast one here. And almost perfect on the fast one. All right, let's see how much money we made on this, though. So, not 161,000. 
Wow, people really want COD right now, clearly. Not too bad, not too bad at all. So that was 226,000 right there, which is way more than I thought it would be. Let's go to town and let's go to, not the bar, actually, ooh, there's something going on. Low Haddock Supply in Axfjord. To keep up with the production, Axfjord Fishery is in desperate need of additional fish. The fishery is willing to pay up to 12.5 KR a kg if you deliver 9,000 kgs of Haddock to Axfjord within seven days. That's a lot of kgs. We might end up, end up trying to do that, though, considering we are going to have a bigger boat. Let's actually see if we can get to that boat. Oh, no problem at all. Check out this, guys. We can get up to a $4 million loan. Let's go to the let's go to the dock and see. Well, I, I don't want to get a crazy loan, but I would like to get a big enough loan to upgrade this boat quite high as well. So this is it. This is going to be the next one, the Vebkek Catherine. Gotta say, that is one weird-looking boat. This looks like- it doesn't even look real, man. This looks like a cartoon damn boat. I love it, though. The Lunar Bow, unfortunately, we need to, uh, travel 125 more kilometers to get to this one, but this is where it's gonna get pretty damn serious. Cause this is a trawler boat. Right now, we're doing net fishing. I would really love to do trawler fishing. We're gonna have to wait for that one, though, cause we got a lot more of the ocean to explore before we get there. So this is two- two million. Definitely an upgrade for my little guy, so I do want to get it. Let's go and uh, figure out which loan that we need to grab here. So I'd like to get about three million. So a two million loan would be perfect, as long as the terms are okay. So we got uh, actually 2.6 here, interest rate of 15%, monthly repayment. We have a 36 month term with that one, which is a decent term. This one could also be another option, and I do actually really like this one as well, but that's cutting our money really, really close. We'd only have about 200,000 kroners to upgrade the boat. So let's do this one. We'll take a bigger interest rate and a bigger monthly repayment, but I gotta say that's a very small repayment. To be honest, it's not gonna be a hard thing to obtain. I mean, we just earned 200 grand right in this run right now. So yes, I would like to take the loan, and now we got some serious money to spend. Okay, this is the exciting part. Can we actually sell our old boats? I never even thought of that because we technically own them, but we're not using them. It'd be great if you could actually get a fleet to use your boats for you. Maybe you can, I have no idea. All right, but we're, we're gonna purchase this one, and due to the large volume of fish that can be stored on the Webkin, the Webkek, the Webbik, Oh my god, I, I, I can't even say it. Catherine, you're now required to stack all fish before selling them. Stacked fish must be gutted first and can be optionally frozen as well. You'll need at least one crew member to stack the fish for you. Now, we can get up to three crew members on this boat. I probably am going to at least get two. We'll see if we can deal it with, with two, uh, and then we'll go from there. But check it out, guys. Oh, I, lo I love how tall and derpy it looks. All right, so we still got 1.4 million, so I think I'm gonna get a pretty good crew member here. I want a good all-arounder, so Bjart here is actually looking really good. Higher price is quite high, but obviously with his skill, uh, that's understandable. Do we have any other high-skilled people? We have uh, actually some pretty good members here. I think the one that we bought started at like 34, so it was like this guy. Bjart has a rate of 6%. That's a pretty high rate, so I almost want to train someone up. If we can get a rate of 4% with a decent guy, that would be good. What's the rate 4%? So we got this this guy and this lady. I don't like their stats enough. I think it's gonna be smart to have Bjart. So we let, let's look at let's get this guy and uh, you know share some of the money here. So there we go. Now we got two crew members. And again, I think we're gonna stick with that just for just for right now. And we'll see if we need our third, because you gotta remember we already have one on the boat. So right now our boat's set up for long lines. I don't think I want to do any long line fishing. I think net fishing is always the smartest. So we're going to go back to the dock and we got to remember to upgrade our boat now. So the storage upgrade 60,000. Oh yeah, we're, we're going to seriously upgrade this. Wow, are engines ever expensive? Radar upgrade, of course. That's one of the most important things. And we're going to go all the way up to three. So we should be as good, if not better, than our old boat. We also get access to a gutting machine now. Automatically guts fish up to 10 times faster than if performed manually. Wow, that's only 100,000. Let's try it out. It looks really cool, so I'm excited for that. And of course, we want our net hauler because uh, that's what we're doing right now. We can also buy a freezer, which prevents the fish from decreasing in value over time. So why not buy it? Again, I bought, I got all this money for a reason. We, we want to spend as much as possible. Side thrusters, improves maneuverability by adding side directed thrusters. Okay, that, although very cool, I don't think we definitely need it. So let's uh, avoid that for right now. 
And let's focus on upgrading things that we can actually use, like the storage upgrades. So we want that, definitely. We probably want that. Hell, I think we might even go for storage three. Let's get lots and lots of money. Now the engine, well, we're gonna go as high as we can go, which is engine upgrade one, unfortunately. Actually, before I forget, let's get some boat services as well. So this is free towing. I don't think I want that. I want insurance. 50% uh, of the value of your boat or 60% or 70%. I think it's gonna be smart just in case. Let's do the small one for right now. Again, this boat really isn't that expensive, but it's definitely worth it to have it. So at least we have that. Um, so we are insured. The naval towing, I've only had needed to be towed twice, so I really don't see the point. So I think I'm pretty happy with this. Let's get out there and see how good this thing is. Oh yeah, before we do though, we also got to buy probably some nets here. Because, yes, all my nets are tied to my old boat, I guess. That's kind of weird, but I definitely do want some nets. So we're going to buy the 165 meters now. We should have enough storage space. So I bought four of those. That should be more than enough. Let's take this thing out, guys. Oh, my God. It, it doesn't look normal. Like, look at this thing. Sounds awesome. Oh, we got all this new stuff, too. Machine gutting, freezing, and stacking. Okay, I can see with all the, the things that we need to do... I'm gonna have to do some work, and we should probably get the third employee when we do need to. Now, cooking. We still have all those burgers there. I don't know how to use that. Let's go out in the ocean, though, and see if we can get a decent amount of fish. Now, looking around... Oh, maybe we should have got that quest. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna try and go for that quest. I think it'd be really fun to do. And I also, like I said, I want to get to that boat. So we're just gonna fast travel back. Uh, hopefully that quest is still there. Grab that. That's gonna give us an extra 100,000 kroners, I believe, if we do do it within seven days, which should be realistic, I think. Okay, definitely could see why I need the engine upgrade. This boat's actually slower than our last one, which makes kind of sense. We got a very big boat right now, so there we go. Whoa! Okay, it's actually way harder. Uh, at least it went sideways really quickly, so we want to make sure this net... Holy crap! It's actually going to the red zone, so yeah, the bigger the boat, the harder it is to keep this in the middle, clearly. We should be okay, though. I didn't expect it to come out the back of the boat. I was wondering where it was going to come out. I guess they just throw it out that window there. So everything is done at the bottom deck, it looks like, which is pretty cool. Okay, yeah, these waves are really affecting me. You can see the boat swaying left and right. I mean, it makes sense. This is such a tall boat. Any little wave's going to sway it like crazy. My God, let's keep this thing. Let's get back to the middle. There we go. This is much harder. All right, but looking at our storage area, that's a great amount of storage. 20,000 kgs. Uh, that should be perfect. So there's our first net done. Uh, again, I don't, I don't want to put out too many nets, or at least I want to keep them spread out in terms of time. So now that we did that one, let's go and waste some time by going the long way around. And you know what? Let's just go around again just for good luck, you know? <laughs> and then we're going to go there. That should give us, you know... Probably at least three hours between actually more we might even want to cancel this uh, Just because of the amount of time it's gonna take ah, you know what screw it. That's actually a good split between the two nets and There it goes. So now that we kind of got those two nets out. Let's go check out our boat here guys, so Feel like more of a captain now check out all my stuff. We got manage. Oh, I can manage the crew on the phone makes sense Since we're so high up now is that binoculars there is binoculars over there. I can't use uh, is this emergency radio? I actually can't touch too much in here. For a captain, I, I really can't do much. All right, but let's check this thing out. Looks like we're uh, pretty safe in terms of not running into anything. So at least now we got, you know, some areas to uh, relax in. It's not just about, all about fishing now. How the heck am I going to get down below? Can I climb this? Oh, oh, that, that's definitely not climbing it. Oh, that's how to go to the work deck. So there's probably just a ladder down there. Let's go to the front of the boat. Just kind of see what we got going on in front of here. Are these like storage bins or? I have no idea. All right, pretty cool though. Pretty cool. I, I like this setup. I have my own deck and then, you know, the filthy employees are down on their own deck. So let's go check that thing out. There's nothing else up here. And down to the bottom we go. So yes, this is where all the work happens. Looks like this is our storage area. Is this where they sleep? Oh, no, this is go to the top deck. So that's where that is. This must be the auto fish gutter. And yeah, this is all our storage over here. This is where we get all our stuff. So really, this boat is not that huge. It looks huge, but uh, down here, there really isn't that much room. But uh, that's probably a good thing. So let's go back up. And that's really it, guys. That's all our boat. Back into the captain's quarters we go, and uh, at least now I can first person without not being able to see anything. I actually can view out now. 
And I believe our new radar is much larger. You can see the uh, the view here as compared to this other line. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be able to explore, explore much more of the map, which makes me really curious about over here. Like I said, I want to go to that ship, but we should actually be getting close. Well, actually, we're really not that close to uh, being able to pick up our nets. So let's actually, well, let's see how much time or how long it takes to go all the way out here. Worst case, we just got to go back, but I want to try and get out there. Oh, man, this is going to be... Okay, 17 hours. Yeah, but you know what? We're actually going to cancel that, so let's uh, let's stop that. Because honestly, by the time we get out there, yeah, it's, it's already ready to go. So we'll cancel all these waypoints and head back and start pulling in. This boat is much slower, so I'm not used to uh, the amount of time it takes to go across the ocean. So we might even be late to this. That's fine. Yeah, we are a little bit late, unfortunately. We might even be really late, so... Cutting it close here. My bad. Maybe I should go... Ugh, man. Yeah, I really missed it out Missed out on this net. Definitely gonna go get this one first, though. The last thing I want to do is lose my first few nets, so... Not too excited about this yield here, but we should be okay. So now we have, um, two net haulers, so I'm wondering if I even need to go down there and do anything. Probably not. It's probably all automated now, which would be great. All right, so this one has been soaking for far too long, but hey, we can try it out. And looks like they're doing it on their own. So yeah, we don't... Being the captain now, all we got to do is drive these people around. And I guess we just wait and see how much they bring in. Okay, it's done. Did it actually not say... Oh my god. Okay, so look at that. Our mission cargo is only at 202 kgs. That was a complete failure. Uh, do I want to just throw down another quick net? I think we will. Let's do that. Okay, this one, at least it's green. It's not orange or red. My god, look at the waves. The thing is, with such a tall boat, everything is going to affect this. So we might want to get those other side motors just to uh, be able to deal with this. But so far, so good. She gutted it all, so we'll throw them back on there. We should probably tell them the rest. Oh, we got to tell them to stack and freeze as well. Uh, well, let's just wait for these guys to get in because clearly they don't have too much fish anyway. So there we go. Hopefully this time it goes a lot better. There we go, and that is a hell of a lot better. So we got, uh, actually not as much mission cargo as I was hoping for, but that's fine. We net hauled it all. Let's get Victoria to gut it, and do we want to stack or freeze? Let's get him to freeze some of this, obviously. Uh, you can see it going up automatically, so this is really cool. I'm assuming after the freezer's full, we should just stack the rest. But obviously use our freezer first, because that keeps the fish healthy longer, obviously. So that's good. Okay, so how's he good at... Is, is freezing a thing? Yes, it is. And he's actually quite high on that as well. One thing he's not good at is repairing and cooking. So, uh, unfortunately, we don't have any good cookers. All right, we're going to throw another net here. This one's been soaking for seven hours, so that's a good mixture. And this is a really green zone, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to let our crew members rest right now. Looks like most of the stuff is done. Uh, they, they were getting too tired to do anything. So we'll gut the rest of the fish in a little bit. Our freezer's almost totally full, so that's good. And yeah, now we just got to finish up this quest. I'm going to throw out as many nets as I can. And uh, yeah, hopefully we have a good day or two. All right, two nets out in pretty good places. Now I need to go get gas. By the time we get gas, that other net should be ready to go. Because you got to remember how long it takes us. Probably going to be about 10 hours by the time we get there. So there we go. We'll check this. Yeah, time's going up really, really quickly. By the time we get back, it should be 20 hours. So I didn't know this. You actually do... That's so confusing. Why would it... Why would freezing them be a bad thing? I actually need to stack the fish to sell it. So I guess you stack as you are on your way back to the dock. You, you can't just keep it in the freezer, unfortunately. So now... Or wasting some more time trying to stack as much of this as possible. I wonder if I can help them out. That would actually be really, really cool if I can. I don't think I can, though. Can't hurt to try. Let's see. Oh, they're not even in here. Where the heck are they? Where the heck are they stacking it? Is there another area that I don't know of? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I can stack for them. I, I tried every door in here. It's just not working. So, uh, I guess we just got to wait and let them do it. That's a little unfortunate that I can't help them. And there goes the last of our frozen fish. Now, I could definitely see why having better stats is very important now, but we should be able to make Victoria a pretty good fisherman. Gotta remember, she started at like 30, so she has learned a lot with us. And I don't want to fire someone just because they're a bad worker. I mean, I'd rather improve their job. So, there we go. We're done. 
We got quite a bit of mission cargo. Not as much as I hoped for, to be honest, but not too bad. So we got Redfish, uh, Cod, and Pollock. And I guess it takes our haddock because of the quest. So I guess we earned that money at the end. Still earned a bunch of money, so not too bad. Uh, let's get back out there and get the other net, though, because we are running late now, unfortunately, because we did this. Let's also, as we're going back, again, you don't want to waste time. Let's hit this green zone here with another net. By the time we get that other net back and sell everything, this net should be pretty much primed and ready to go. All right, so three nets in the water at once. That's not scary at all. We got this one. It just turned blue. So like I said, uh, we did run a little bit late, but... Oop, yeah, just turned green. So we just missed prime location or prime time, I guess you could say. But still, this should be a very good haul here again. Ah, so it looks like actually the mission cargo stays on our boat until we have it all, I guess. And then we can either lose the quest or sell the fish. So at least I'm not totally losing all this fish if we don't finish the quest within seven days. We shouldn't have a problem, though. I'm really curious how much is going to be in this net. All right, there we go. Wow, okay, so we got... Uh, Okay, no, sorry. I thought I thought we had a full boat. No, we actually didn't get too much fish. Oh, oh god, that scares me every time. Not bad, not bad. How much mission cargo? Man, you are giving me a problem today. We, we, we're supposed to get so much haddock, and of course we're not getting it now. Uh, benefit being, we did get a very good haul there, so we should earn lots and lots of money, so that's fun. Still kind of sucky with the amount we got, so let's try this other, uh, zone here. I'm going, uh, I'm switching between zones all the time because I feel like you can definitely fish out a zone. This over here is looking really good, so maybe we should head up and finally unlock that boat. I really want to complete this quest, though. It's, it's now my major goal to do this, so we'll see how much we can get with these, uh, last three lines that we got going in. All right, so we're back at port. Unfortunately, I'm still running into stacking issues, so how's this guy stacking? Actually, rather low. He's got better stamina, though. The uh, the stamina of the recent guy that we hired is very, very low. So I feel like I definitely need my third crew member uh, now that we've done this for a while, so let's do that. I'm still actually uh, stacking the crates, so let's get this guy here to help this lady and uh, get the rest of this stuff stacked, because we still have 3,000 kgs of frozen fish. Now, unfortunately, okay, this one's actually ready to go, so let's go grab this guy as we are still stacking all this stuff, and uh, let's not waste time here. So, it's still gonna take a while to stack all of this. Now that we have three crew members, this should go much more smoothly. Yes, I lose a lot of my percentage in my uh, earnings, but I think it's definitely gonna be worth it. All right, there's our yield. Not too bad. We got uh, almost 10,000 kgs. How's our mission cargo? Still only at four. My god, I didn't expect this going into this mission. But now we can have the dream crew here. We can get one guy doing everything. Who's better at freezing, actually? This guy's pretty low. Actually, he's still the best at freezing, so... Bjart, I guess you're gonna have to do that. But now we should be able to do all three at once, and by the time we get back to port, hopefully, assuming... My calculations are correct. We should be done everything so we can sell this stuff basically right away. There we go. Back and something is blocking my ability. We still need 4,448 kgs more of Haddock to complete this job. Yes, look at that though. We got everything stacked. So that's perfect. We can sell it right away. Bam, 100,000 right there. All right, and good news, ladies and gents. Finally, after a lot of fishing, I think we have all the mission cargo we need. I think we needed 90-90. We actually have a little bit more than that. So, obviously, uh, this is very exciting. We're right by where we need to be. So, hopefully, we can finally finish this quest and go see what that boat has to offer out there. So, let's go back real quick. Uh, this These fish should be gutted by now. So, let's just let these guys sleep. There we go. It's a perfect setup, though. We just got to make our way over there, and we also have two more. Oh, they just turned blue. I should have watched their time. Well, we have to go here anyways to bank, but uh, these things might be totally wasted by the time we get to them. That's okay, though. All right, I got to say, that was one hell of a quest. There we go. We're going to sell this, and it should be in progress. Cancel mission. No, I want to actually do it. Oh, God. How, how, how do I do this? Do I have to go to town and then jobs, maybe? That's probably where it is. Oh, never mind. It just pops up after a while. The fish supply in this town has been given a well-needed boost by your contributions. Uh, reputation with Hammerfest improved. Reputation with Axvord improved. And 113,000 kroners. Oh, I don't know if that was worth all that uh, effort, but you know what? Reputation is everything here. And I'm a fine captain in Axvord now. So I guess that's a good thing. So we're going to refuel up and... Oh, I can't upgrade at this damn boat or this damn dock. 
I was hoping to upgrade my engine. Is it actually that far away to go upgrade? Because I would really like to get an engine upgrade before we leave here. All right, it's not like it's going to hurt us to go to Hammerfest right now. We're just going to waste some gas money. But hey, that's not something that I've really cared about this whole time. So why start now? Let's go get that boat upgrade. That way we can explore the ocean as quickly as possible. All right, but upgrades are always fun. Unfortunately, we're only going to be able to get one. That gives us plus 100 HP, though, or horsepower. Now, the other one, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have enough money just yet. And I probably don't want to, you know, spend all my money anyway. So let's get back out there and finally go see what this boat thing is on the map. All right, the big question is, did I lose these things, or will they still be there by the time we get there? It's going to be close. I think we might end up losing them here. There's not going to be a lot of fish on them, that's for sure, if we do make it. Oh, I think we actually are going to be able to get them. I don't even know if I want these things anymore, but hey, we may as well get them since we're here. No fish were caught. Not set long enough. Not set long enough, excuse me? Excuse me, not set long enough? I think you mean I set it way too freaking long. So time for the boat voyage. I figured we'd start here. Maybe we'll find a few other spots of uh, fish. And uh, that's pretty much as close to the boat as we can get anyways. So on to another voyage. We have to uh, get a lot of miles in this boat anyways. We've only done 136.9 kilometers so far total for all our boats. So we got to go all the way to 250 for the next one. That's going to be fun. Hopefully this adds a little bit to that going out to this boat which I can't see anywhere, as you can see, so we're just gonna have to go based on... Oh yeah, look, look at the distance of our ra our radar now, that's amazing. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna have to use this map to our advantage here. I actually think I see... There's something little out there. That's gotta be it. Do you see it, guys? Because I sure as shit don't! What the hell? I'm like right in front of it. If this is the size of a ship, you would assume I could see it right now. I'm getting a little nervous, man. I spent a long time coming out here. We didn't even... Well, I guess we found a decent amount of spots. Uh, you can see the difference in radar size. This thing is great. Getting a little worried, though. Maybe there isn't a ship out here. Maybe it just says this is open waters, and there's a ship there for an icon for some reason, because that's not confusing. We'll see what happens when we run right on top of it, though. Maybe something special happens. Maybe we can go to a different part of the map, or maybe it just gives us a different instance or something. Well, guys, I think at this point we are legit hugging the boat. Uh, as you can see, it is clearly a, a, a ghost ship. There is there is no ship out here. Why? Why do you do this? I mean, it's cool we're in quote-unquote open waters now, so we can definitely explore this area and see if there's anything good out here, but... Man, you don't, you don't put a ship on the map saying, oh, this is open waters. There might be a ship here that's really cool. And then not have a ship out here. At least, at least have a ship I can look at or something. But, uh, yeah, that's a little anticlimactic. We needed to explore anyway, so job well done to us. We have unlocked a lot more of the map as well. And we actually almost are at the side of the world. This is as far as we can go. So, I think this is a good time to wrap this one up. We did a shitload of stuff today. Got a new boat. Got a three-person crew, did our first quest, and uh, yeah, we are seriously earning some good money now. So hopefully next time, maybe, just maybe, we can get the next boat and do some trawler fishing, because that's like endgame territory right there, and that would be really fun to do. But for right now, I'm all fished out, guys, so we're going to wrap up this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.